Yes, guys, good morning. What's up? Hello, she's here too. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. What are we doing today? Well, together, we have a day off. Bit of a rarity, this. Obviously, it calls for a vlog entry. That's what you're getting, that's what you're looking at now. The plan for today is basically we have like, over the next like three months, we have like a succession of friends and family coming out to visit us, starting in about two weeks time with my family coming. Uh, we've been out of the game for a while, guys. It's been high season, we haven't been you know, doing that much in the islands, but often, you know, new places pop up all the time and we don't have time to check them out. Well, that's what we're doing today. We've created a hit list of about like four or five key new spots that people have told us about and uh, we're gonna go and check them out for ourselves and we're taking you along for the ride. So uh, we just jumped in the car. So the first thing we get some coffee and then we're gonna head down to spot number one. Now it's about an hour, an hour and a half drive, something like an hour drive. I'm not gonna bore you with the journey. Let's just pick up when we're there now. As you just saw, um, let me take those off. Easier to see you guys. We've got like five places on the hit list that we can help today. I think the easiest way just to bang those out, review them out of ten. Uh, this place, overall scenery and landscape, decent, uh, really nice. Check it out. Good place to hang out, which is a bit far from everything. Uh, let's give it a six. Food and beverage. We've had like a couple of coconuts, a couple of smoothies, some chips and dips, as you guys saw as well. Pretty good actually. Some Aussie dude owns it and nice menu, so I'm gonna give it a, I'm give it a six as well, actually. Vibe, uh, super, uh, really nice. I mean, look at the bar, the bar's right there. R really nice little spot, but at the same time, we're like the only people here bar some like people who are on their deathbed right here, which I won't turn the camera to. So yeah, they're struggling for a few more people, but music's decent, sun lounges are comfortable, overall not bad. Uh, down the middle, I'm gonna give that a five. Also, my partner in crime would like to have a little vote. What are you saying? Out of 10, what are yeah. you doing with the whole place? The whole entire thing? Yeah. You're gonna go with a six. Lou votes with her vibe and her vibe alone. So she's giving it a six. On that bombshell, we're now gonna go to spot two. I'll see you guys there. Might have fucked up here, guys. We're gonna go for further inspection around the side of the building. So here's the situation. Um, we've driven like two hours down here. It is closed. <laughs> but I mean, look at the view at this place. Let's go take a little look. So yes, well worth the drive, but just not on a Tuesday because it's closed. Pretty nice little restaurant, actually. Um, little piece of Saint Tropez in Thailand. Yes. So, for the review, um, it's closed, guys. So I don't really know what you want me to say. You know, I can't don't work come miracles. On uh, don't come on Tuesday. Is a lesson learned here. We're gonna do the review anyway. Food and beverage, zero. We had to bring our own. Scenery, definitely better than the last place. No. Gorgeous beach. Amazing. Actually. The water is a lot nicer. What do yeah. we give it? What do we give the scenery for the last place? We gave it a six. But so it was unswimmable. It was unswimmable. Place. This place is. This place has tray swimmable. You know. Next category, uh, vibe. Okay. Zero. And There's like um, an infringing cheaper beach shack next door, which is a bit of a vibe killer, to be honest with yeah. you. And as we know, Lou only votes with her vibe. A disclaimer that we have to add is that almost everybody told us this place is like 
next level food, like delicious, delicious food. Yeah, so you just got your hopes up. I got my hopes up, and then I feel like this is karma biting me in the ass because we specifically came here for lunch. So also, I feel like it could redeem itself on the food if it was open. So. And also, the, the other place of food looked great, but you know, Josh was like, you know, yeah, the food is amazing at the next place we're going to go to. <laughs> so we could we could have eaten where we were, spot number one, but I we dragged Lou really out. We can't go back there now because we've, it's, you know, yeah. we've done that. And so we're just going to have to push on forward and hope we find somewhere better. I don't think we will, given the location that we're in. Okay. Sorry. On to spot number three. See you guys there. Just to add insult to injury, it's down like a kilometre long very steep hill that we hiked down and now having to hike back up just to get out of here. Totally worth it! I'm struggling, but... Almost at the top, guys. That was not worth it. It, would, it wouldn't even have been worth it if it was open to us, would it? Really feel like I'm saint guys. 100%. Exactly like saint -Tropez. All right, guys, we're just making a quick detour because we happen to be in the area of a restaurant that we used to come to like all the time that serves the best vegan burger on the island. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Check this out, guys. Vegan burrito, the one, and probably yeah. the best vegan burger anybody's ever, probably the best burger ever made, actually. Man, who says, you have to eat rabbit food when you're a vegan. This is literally as close to a real burger as a real burger could taste. So worth the detour. Yeah. Good shout by her. We're gonna eat this. I'll come back to you in five, ten. It's about three and a half minutes later. And we've demolished both of those. In fact, empty, look, in front of us. Food coma status. Food coma status. Uh, well worth the detour though, highly recommended. Now, this wasn't on the original four point hit list or five point hit list of the places that we plan to hit today. But seeing as we're here and the view looks like this, actually, it's made it on the hit list. On to number four. Oh yeah, this is number three, it's on to number four. four. You've got to do the fingers, otherwise nobody knows it's real. Okay. See you guys there. Yes, we're back guys. We are now at spot four on the hit list. This may be the last, the sun is setting. The cocktails are happy, as in the hour of happy. Mm. And I don't see us making it to another one. We may, we may. So we are now at the Nihan in uh, Nihan Beach, funnily enough. Let me show you around. Happy hour here. Uh, it's about half an hour later. The sun's still going down, and we still haven't moved. This is quite a new, nice spot, right? Yeah. The vibes are good. Down Voting there. with the vibes. So if anybody wants to play the drinking game in the next vlog, it's you have to drink every time Lou says vibes. So just vibes shot. Vibes shot. Uh, it's a great new game. I'm sure it's going to take off around the world. Uh, tell all your friends. Share the love. We should probably order another cocktail. Sundown vibes are on. <laughs> No prizes for guessing who the frozen daiquiri was for. Me. <laughs> As you can see, Happy Hour's going down a storm and uh, I don't think we'll be leaving. Actually, we're going to check in. Side note, extra points for bar snacks. I don't know what these little dream sticks are, but... Um, you reminded me of Cheeto. They're sort of like... Cheeto bite. They're better versions of Cheetos without the dust. You see, no, no finger dust. That's extra two points on the food and beverage scale, so strong daiquiris, you know, better than Cheeto Cheetos. Right, scenery, it would be a 10, but there is no sunset. We're yeah. facing south, the sunset is gone. F&B, what are you saying? Uh, cocktails are good. Cocktails are good and cheap, because it's happy hour. Bar snacks, also good. We didn't eat, she Jeff's was gonna have dessert, good. but. So, um, and what was the last one? Vibe. Vibe is good because of this. That was the saxophone plan. Saxophone. Very nice saxophone happy hour. sunset vibe. A uh, lot of Australians, which means, you know, yeah. tourist holiday vibe, which is always good for us because then we feel like we're on holiday too. 
So vibe actually is pretty good. What are you saying for vibe? Very strong for sunset. <laughs>